Are you facing a decision? Well, my advice to you is to never make a decision without stopping to consider the matter in the presence of God. Don't just go it alone. Go with God. Often you'll be directed in ways that you never thought of. You'll be directed in ways that make you, in your human mind, a bit uncomfortable because it is the unknown path. And yet, if you follow the guidance of God, it will be the exact right thing for you, your life, and for all others, too. In James 1, verse 5, it says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Now, here's a difference of positive Christianity. Many have a God where they believe that God will not give to them because of something they did in the distant past. That God will withhold God's love and God's guidance and God's direction. Well, that's a human trait, but not a godly trait. And so often we make God out like us in our image instead of us trying to take on God's image. Are you facing a difficult decision? Go to God, and God will come to you, will not find fault with you, will not criticize you, will not say no, no for what you did. God will praise you in thinking and feeling with divine ideas for what you are making the decision to do in the moment right now. If you're facing a difficult decision, life presents each of us with countless questions and often doubts and often problems. Thankfully, the riddles of everyday living are not too difficult to solve when we look for the answers in the right places. When we have questions, we can consult God's Word and seek the guidance of God and ask advice from God in, in countless ways every moment of the day. Take your concerns to God and avail yourself to the messages and mentors that God will place along your path and when you do. God will speak to you in God's own way and in God's own time. And when he does, you can trust that you can trust that answer that God gives you and God will give you an answer. I often think that the timing is more from our own reluctance inside of us. I know in my own life it has. I look back on my life and many times I got an answer from God instantly, but it wasn't the answer that I wanted. Therefore, I delayed. I surged toward my problem to try to solve it. And of course, it didn't work. And then finally, when I was so fatigued that I was ready at the deepest part of my soul to listen, I had my answer. I surrendered to it, and blessing upon blessing came. It may be the same way with you. I pray today that you have all the guidance from God that you need, the direction of God. And I pray that you are at a place where you're ready to listen, ready to accept and consent to the higher way. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.